Hey everyone, I want to do a technical analysis walkthrough video and illustrate all the mistakes that I made on this trade. Now it still worked out in my favor, right? I made 21% in seven days, um, but they were impulse purchases. I wasn't really paying attention to the technical analysis. I was kind of just jumping in and jumping out. And I want to show you how even if I hadn't done that, it still would have worked out in my favor just a little bit differently. So let's just jump right into it here. Um, if we go back uh, a couple of like a month or so ago, you'll see this big green candlestick right here. This is when the stock first came to my attention. It showed up on Finviz under one of their uh, unusual volume of the day, top 10 stocks. And I said, ooh, cool, I'm gonna put this on my flexible grid. These are some of the stocks that I kind of monitor, I watch, maybe I'm trading. I put NCTY on the flexible grid as a stock to start paying attention to. And you can see here that it immediately sells off. And it's selling off for quite a while, maybe a, a few weeks. At, when you see a stock that's on the negative side of this 20 day moving average on the bottom of these Bollinger Bands, this tells me that there's a lot of selling pressure. You can see it, break out to the downside, break out to the downside, break out to the downside, break out. This stock is just getting hammered. At a certain point, it's gonna enter oversold territory like it does here. This is prime buying opportunity, or at the very least, because we are on this negative side of these Bollinger Bands, even though it's saying this is oversold now, this doesn't scream buy the stock right now, right? This says buy the stock. This says not yet. So if anything, what all this is telling me is the relative strength is just screaming, pay attention to me. But I didn't. I watched the stock get hammered for a week and then almost another week and I said, forget the stock. And I took it off of my flexible grid. I deleted it. You can see it's not on here anymore. I put something else on because I got, I lost interest in it. I said, eh, forget it. It's not entering oversold territory like I want it to. It's just on the negative side of these Bollinger Bands. It keeps going lower and lower. I'm done. I've lost interest. Big mistake. Anywhere here would have been prime buying opportunity. For one, it's trading sideways for about two days. Two, it crosses over this 20 day moving average, which is a good sign. And three, obviously it's oversold, which indicates a move to the upside. I didn't get that. I deleted it. I took it off my watch list and look what happened. It hit almost $14, $17.38 or so was the high. And I wasn't in this trade. I would have bought somewhere probably around here, probably even right around here where it crosses this 20 day moving average. So I would have been in around 960 all the way up to almost 14 bucks. Knowing me, I probably would have sold around 11 or 12 and I would have been complaining. Oh, it went all the way to 14, shit. But I didn't. I took it off my watch list because I got bored. I lost interest. Big mistake. The second mistake that I made was that I actually did buy the stock the very next day. Now, part of my thought process was I'm experienced enough to know that stocks like this that go from say eight to 14 aren't gonna drop right back down to eight the next day. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's why I call it an impulse purchase. It was stupid. I probably shouldn't have bought it. I bought it at around 1084. So right around here somewhere, that was dumb. There was no technical analysis. There were no indicators to tell me that the stock was stopping. There was no reason for me to think we're bottoming out here. That was dumb. What I should have done was said, if we get down to this support line, of around nine bucks or so, that's when I'm gonna start buying. But I didn't. I made an impulse purchase. That was stupid. Now, even though it never gets back down to this level, it doesn't mean that I'm missing out on this trade. The way that I would have made this trade had I missed out on the support line down here is I would have bought it into the momentum on the way up, right? We're so we're so eager to buy things that have gotten hammered and that are oversold. But the other way you can do it is to buy high and sell higher. It's called momentum trading. You're riding the momentum. So even though I wouldn't have gotten it around eight ninety nine, nine 9 bucks, I would have paid a little bit more like 10, 11, or even 12. I still would have had a gain. We'll get into that in a second though, <clears throat> because here's the second mistake that I made. I bought at 1084, so somewhere around here on this day. Seven days later, I sold it right here at 1313. And I made 21% on my on my trade. <clears throat> the reason I took this trade, or the reason I sold when I did, was because I hit my goal. That was it. Big mistake. 
I wasn't looking at any of the technical analysis. I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw the money. I hit my goal. I'm out. Oops. Look at this. What we see here are two almost back-to-back -back breakouts to the upside. This is really strong. Not only that, but we're on the positive side now of this 20-day moving average. As long as we're in positive territory and we keep going up, there's not really a reason to sell. You can sell or you can consider selling when the indicators are saying, hey man, this stock is now entering oversold ter or overbought territory as it's doing somewhere around here, or it starts trading sideways, or it even starts selling off. Those are all opportunities for you to lock in your gains. The mistake that I made <clears throat> was seeing this 1313, where's 1313? Oh, it's over here. And getting out. Why, why would I do that? We're just beginning an uptrend here. We've crossed successfully over the 20 day. We're not overbought. Come on, you know better. Sorry, I was, I was pointing to these where I said almost back to back breakouts. That's not the day I sold. I sold down here on these almost back-to-back -back breakouts. That was dumb. We're not overbought. We're finally on positive territory here. We've got stronger volume to the upside. I should have stayed. I knew better, but I saw my goal and I got out. So that was the second mistake that I made, was getting out way too soon at 13.13, right on, uh, on the fourth, which was right here. Big mistake. <clears throat> Big mistake. So I entered on a mistake, I got out on a mistake, and wait till you see what happened next. It had this big rally, as you can see, and then it sold off. So again, as an experienced trader who knows when a stock has a big run up, it's not gonna go right back down to where it was. So from eight or so from nine to 14, it's not gonna go back down to nine. From 12 to 18, it's not gonna go back down to 12. At least that's my hope. The only thing I did right this time was I bought it on, let me make sure this is the correct date. It is the 12th, I bought it on the 12th and I bought it because of this. Oversold right here, this turnaround, I bought it at 14.32. So I probably bought it somewhere, oh yeah, 14.32. I probably bought it right on this green candlestick right here, right on the turnaround. Now again, my goal is $200. So you can see we have quite the run up, right? Three white soldiers, that's what this is called. One higher than the other. This is very promising here for me, but I'm not gonna sell because my goal is 200 bucks and my goal, right, uh, 1432 to 1560 or so, it's under $200, <clears throat> so I'm not selling. Here's the second mistake that I made on the second purchase, right? Look at, look at the last one. The first trade that I made was 21% in seven days. This trade, had I been paying attention, would have been 18% in one day. Because look what it does the very next day. Right at the open, it jumps to $17, and I think the high for the day was $17.07. But I wasn't paying attention, you know why? Because I was on my phone watching TikToks, so I missed this opportunity. So now your question is, well, did you sell it and lock in some gains? And the answer is no, I didn't because I'm still sticking to my goal. My goal is to pull in $200 on this trade. And by the time I noticed what the stock was doing, by the time I put my phone down and stopped watching fucking TikToks, it was around 16 and dropping. So I missed my chance to pull in an 18% gain in one day because of TikTok. It's not TikTok's fault, it's my fault. Um, but I definitely would have exited this trade. Even though the analysis wasn't saying that we're over, overbought, again, sometimes your gut instinct or sometimes just hitting your, your goal is good enough, right? The technical analysis is great, but when you hit your goal and your goal is to pay your bills through your stock trades, you take your gains. Look, it would have been over $400 in, uh, in, a, in a week on the stock for me had I done, had I made this trade but I didn't. So there you go. Even experienced traders make mistakes. They don't always look at the technical analysis. They don't always factor in everything before making a purchase or a sale. I should not have sold here. This was a sign to keep holding. 
positive territory on the Bollinger Bands, a huge run up. This probably is where I would have sold right here. If we're being honest, I probably would have gotten out at around 14 or $15. I probably would have missed out on this continued rally. Just being honest, right? I hate when traders say, oh, I would have purchased at 850 and sold at 1853 and I would have bought it right at the bottom and sold right at the top. That's bullshit, come on. Realistically, I would have probably gotten out somewhere around here just because of the technical analysis saying we are now entering oversold or overbought position. I always mix them up, overbought position. Um, so there you have it. Trying to keep these videos short and sweet. I hope I explained it thoroughly in a way you understand. Uh, I made mistakes. Even if I hadn't, even if I had done everything correctly, didn't get it down here on the support line, okay, I'm gonna buy on these breakouts. You can see I still would have made money. Um, just would have been different amounts. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell, the subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Have a good day and I'll see you later.